Now it's time to set up the app for the PhotoShare frame. The first step, of course, is to download and install the app, which is available on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. The next step is to create your PhotoShare frame account. We ask that everyone using the app create their own account so that the system knows who's sending which photos to which frame. This is also for your security so you can block someone from sending photos to your frame if you need to. Simply type in your email, enter a password of your choosing, and check the box to indicate that you agree to the privacy policy. Once you've done this, you'll be directed to the login page. Enter your email and password, and you're ready to go. Once logged in, you'll be asked if it's OK to access your photos. Please tap OK. The next step is to link your app to your first PhotoShare frame. Every frame has a unique ID, and by using that, you're able to make sure that the system knows who's sending which photos to which frame. This is super important when more and more friends and family members get PhotoShare frames of their own. To find the frame ID, we go back to the frame itself. Simply tap the screen and tap the arrow in the top left hand corner to get to the main options screen. Then tap settings in the bottom right. The unique ID for your frame will be displayed at the top of this screen. Simply enter this frame ID in the app and you'll be asked to name the frame. This doesn't change anything on the frame itself, it simply determines how this frame is displayed in my app. I'll call this frame mom as it's a gift from my mom and I'm good to go. This next step is important and we occasionally get questions about it. You do at this point need to approve someone to be able to send photos to your frame. You only have to approve them once, but this is a security measure to make sure that you're in control over who can send photos to your PhotoShare frame.